have we all met Nichelle Nichols here? Uh, I, I can say for my part, uh, I've met her, you know, several times and she's always been nothing but the sweetest lady in the world. There was mm -hmm. one time where I sat in a room and interviewed her for about an hour back in like 2016, I think it was. And it was during Renegade. Yeah. And Renegade. she was so gracious with her time mm -hmm. and so happy to talk, happy to share her wisdom. You know, a lot of times when you're talking with an older person, they're not in any hurry. You know, they're, they're, they're hanging out. I mean, for, for good or bad, they're not in any hurry. And in this case, it was for good. Um, and they also want to make a connection with you. They want to impart their wisdom. They're not just saying, oh, yeah, you know, there's good clouds up in the sky or whatever. They want to, like, connect with you. And they want to say, you know, here's my philosophy on life and here's my advice to you whether you asked for it or not you know and it was just it was such a beautiful moment in time for me that she just cut out like an hour and it was less of an interview and more of her just wanting to connect with me and I'm sure that's how she treated the next person and the next person and the next person where she just wanted to talk and share her experiences and share some wisdom and impart some, some memories onto me. And, and it just felt so, I swear it almost felt like I was talking with an angel. You know, it, mm -hmm. it almost felt like we were just separated away from reality in our own room, just she and I talking, just connecting, you know, as two people. And it was a really beautiful experience. Um, and uh, yeah, and since then, mm -hmm. she still doesn't remember my name. But no, I don't know if she does, but, but it was really cool. And, and since then we've had, you know, other encounters and she's always been wonderful. Uh, Rico, I think you've interviewed her once before as well. I think, but it, with you, it was up on stage, right? Yeah, I was at a Silicon Valley Comic Con and I, I had the, the honor of, of having a whole hour of, of conversation with her. And, um, and I, and I had met her before and like we were table neighbors at, um, so uh, we had signing tables at like next to each other at San Diego comic-con and seen her here and seen her there. Um, but this was an opportunity to really sit down and just, just like you, Ryan, you know, just, just have a conversation and, and just, of course, talk about her career and talk about certain bullet points that are always brought up and, and um, and it, it, it just just having that that moment, those 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 moments, it was it was really beautiful. It was it was actually um, it was actually one of her last interviews. Actually, um, she I think she may have done one other smaller interview at another con, and I I, I could be wrong, but that might have been it, or or maybe just a, there may have been a couple of other ones, but she wasn't really doing many after that i i thought that just like all the other interviews at silicon valley comic con that it was being taped and it wasn't the whole interview can be summoned can can it you can be you can basically see five minutes of it because of the fact that ryan came in to 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 see it for like a, for a few minutes because he had his table, he recorded about five six minutes of the interview, which was a really nice section. But that's all that that in, that's that's all the proof I got. Mm, I mean, hang on to it forever, man. <laughs> for for life, brother, for life. And you know, thank God, man, you 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 hit the record button on that because um, I mean, but it was a beautiful interview. I mean, you know, of course, we spoke about. Uh, her wanting to leave Star Trek and and Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Um, uh, persuading her to to stay and we spoke about that. We spoke about playing a horror. We spoke about her music, um, her acting career, her her other roles, NASA. Just I mean a lot of the bullet points. And then we we touched on so many other wonderful subjects. But it was it was it was great. It was great. And you know I mean Ryan, you said it the best in terms of just when you speak to her and how she makes you feel mm -hmm. and um yeah yeah so she i'm, I'm really made, she I'm, never makes you feel like you're taking up her time 
She makes you feel like you're the most important person in the world. And the only thing on her mind is connecting to another human and just making that, that connection and making you feel important and making you feel like she wants you to understand what she's thinking and what she's feeling and what she wants to impart on you. Yeah. Agreed. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Too bad she's moving out to New Mexico or already did. <laughs> Cause that's, that just makes me miss her. <laughs> yeah. I think she already did. I think she's yeah, already she already did. Yeah, she already did. Oh, okay. And Scott, you've shot mm-hmm. at her house in the past, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I was, I've been on set with her a couple of times with uh, Renegades and then, yeah, I, I shot, um, like when we doing when we're doing like Kickstarter campaigns and other interview things, we I shot over at her house um, up, up in the valley and and like I remember she she has a picture up of when she she met President Obama and um, she was when so he met to be her. You mean when he exactly. met her? <laughs> yeah, when he met her. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and 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 she was so thrilled to tell that story and you know she she like I was just kind of standing there looking at the stuff on her wall and. And she, you know, she saw me looking at that picture, and she lit up and just was just, you know, super, super happy to come over and tell tell that story and 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 everything like that. And just, you know, her her being her being so proud of that, you know, um, not just, you know, them meeting, but that that feeling like uh, she was part of that that chain of history, you know, that 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 mm-hmm. somehow. You know, she she was part of like why he was able to be president, you know, not like mm. you know, it was her who did it. Right. But, you know, that that's like these these moments in history that 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 ha- have an impact, like or like we're talking with with Martin Luther King and stuff like that. You know, it's like it, it's all like all this kind of stuff for that for that journey for, for African-Americans in, in, in our country her being, a you know, a major part of that um, chain of events, you know, mm-hmm. and um so yeah, no. So and and every time I go, I, I went to her house. She's you know super nice and and you know you know welcoming and um, it, was, it was always fun to you know to go there and to hear her talk about stuff. And she's just um, you know just a normal person talking. You know when when you when you're talking with her, nice nice old lady. And then when 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 the camera's on, she's just she, she lights up and she's and she she gets in the zone and she's totally. there and she's ready to go, you know, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Puts on, puts on the actor face and does, does her thing. And she's it's just, so it's just so second nature for her, mm-hmm. you know, and she has this great, um, uh, 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 great kind of attitude, you know, and, and on some of it, like we give her this, this like a teleprompter script, you know, so you're the, the, the script is playing in front of the lens and she's, and she's reading the lines. Cause it's not, it's, you know, it's stuff for like the Kickstarter campaigns and, you know, she yeah. doesn't have that stuff memorized. And so she's reading it. And so sometimes, you know, she's kind of stumbling over the words. It doesn't say a word right and gets a little frustrated. And then we take it back and she <laughs> says a word wrong and laughs about it. And then everybody starts laughing and <laughs> stuff like that. So, uh, but yeah, it was, it was a, like a, always a fun experience, uh, you know, you know, doing that. And, you know, I got, a, I got a picture with her and, um, yeah, so super, super grateful to have, have, have that opportunity, you know, and, and, and that experience. You no, know, when you were talking about how she kind of lights up when the camera goes on her, it, mm-hmm. you know, not to change the subject, we'll go right back to it. But uh, Walter Koenig also does that Chekhov. Uh, mm-hmm. he, he walks in and he's just like, oh, hey, how's it going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, says whatever the political thing is of the day, you know, uh, the... Yeah the fucking uh gop or you know what he does that he says thing he goes that's kind of hot you know and he just kind of and then you put the camera and then you're just like is do we need to give him some coffee this is gonna he's got a lot of lines today you know but then you turn that camera on and he's just like boom and he's like strong and good and intense and 80 something and you're like how the does he do that? But right, so he's preserving amazing. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, conserving yeah. his it. energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah, right. yeah I, I, I went. I went to. I went to his house for one of those, you know, Kickstarter sort of things for for a renegades that we were doing, and it, it, it was very much that. And then once he gets talking on the thing, may he, you know, he's got the yeah. stories, and oh yeah, he was ta- he, he he was telling some stories that were like. Uh, um, 
you know, he's like, are you guys done rolling? Like, like, have you guys cut the camera? And you're like, yeah. And, and he starts telling the stories that he doesn't want <laughs> to be, you know, about, you know, uh, I, I won't, I won't go into details, but you know, about him and him and, and uh, Leonard That's for Nimoy, our bonus um, footage later. <laughs> right. The stories, stories about him and him and Leonard Nimoy and in, in the height of the, Star Trek, uh, you know, convention circuit in the early days and the fandom and going out on the town and things like that, you know. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gold. yeah so, gold. Yeah. We'll have to do an episode <laughs> about Walter too, because there's a lot to discuss there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, did uh, Anne Marie, Melissa, Muhammad, have you had any interactions with one Nichelle K. Nichols? I had just a photo op with her once, but it was kind of funny because it was, this was at the 2016 convention and my son, Adam at the time was like 12 and, you know, we got the picture and then, and then the person looks like, Oh, your son was blinking. So we went back and did it again. She's like, no problem. Don't worry. So we did it again. And he's like, <laughs> your son was blinking again. And she's like, really? <laughs> just really again. So we finally got the picture, but he looks like he's like on, on amphetamines or something. So eyes are like this big. <laughs> Sure, for the third one, it was okay. We're not holding up the whole line. But she was very sweet about it, despite the hold up. <laughs> That's kind of like that one time Rico. I saw a photo op with him. Uh, there are these people that wanted a photo op with Rico, and they said the same thing. They're like, "Oh, my son was blinking." They turned, and Rico was already gone. He's like, "Fuck you!" Guys. Oh no, I'm out. <laughs> Again, one shot. I don't play that. I don't care who you are. I'm, that's, wait a minute. When did that happen? What are you talking about? Hey, I'm just making it up. Hey, don't. I, I cannot be held responsible for everything that comes out of my mouth, you guys. Listen, just, don't turn my six fans away, okay? I, I appreciate that very much. Jeez. Lisa? Yes. Oh, I, I met her briefly with Aaron, and she was very sweet. Um, you did say Melissa, right? <laughs> Yeah, well, I did. I don't know about Ryan. Okay, he looked surprised <laughs> that I was talking. Um, <laughs> um, so, but uh, and uh, but Aaron had this wonderful story that he told me um, with her, uh, an experience he had with her in um, at a convention in Germany, and it was at the opening ceremonies of. I think it was FedCon. I can't remember. But um and and we had just started dating then. But anyway, um they they call him on stage and at, and everyone on stage and at the end there's like this big dance party on stage and he got so chuffed because Michelle Nichols grabbed his hand his hand out of everyone and started dancing with him. He's like, I danced with the show. Uh, Nichols. <laughs> <laughs> Which was, and yeah, so it was so amazing. And, and then seeing the videos of that was great too. And, um, but so yeah, cool. I've only had passing, um, you know, interactions with her, but she's always been sweet in those moments. So yeah. mm. that's great. Well, Anne Marie, I don't know if you've ever met her, but have you ever seen her across a crowded convention hall? No, because I didn't start going until 2019. Mm. Oh. Mm. I mean, just as well, because I would get so starstruck. I would be like speechless the rest of the day. Uh, the rest of the day. Mm. Yeah, well, now you know what you've missed out on after all these great stories of how nice she would have yeah. been to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay um yeah. well that's really cool uh i didn't really expect for all of us to share our nichelle nichols stories but that's really a lot of fun do we have any uh final thoughts on the convention itself and the importance of uhura in the star trek universe Anne marie oh i'm just reading the live chat and of course marina Krumchuk's here our, our resident convention like expert although she's not going this weekend but she's confirming that she does give like the sweetest photo ops um <laughs> and also some chat packers who will be at um la comic-con this weekend that we do want to know uh everybody in the chat right now if you are going 
just uh, put in the chat, the live chat, just say yes or going or your favorite fruit. comments too. It'd be easier to find them too. Get them in the comments. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, uh, we will have tables, signing tables also, uh, Ryan and I. Mm -hmm. So that's one way cool. to see us. Uh, so if you're if you're there, stop by the table. So we'll do. You doing photo ops, Rico? Uh, at the table. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, at the table. That counts. Yeah. Yeah, and our yeah. friend uh, Rico is going to be there, as you know. Scott's going to be there, and Sirach Lofton will be there. Mm -hmm. So that'll be good times. Um, mm -hmm. Melissa just said in the chat, yes. So <laughs> Melissa's going to be there. <laughs> Uh, All right. Anybody have any final thoughts on the convention itself or Nichelle or Uhura? Um, I'm just excited. So. Yeah, I, I, I just want to say one last thing on, on it. Um, you know, I, 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 I fully share like Whoopi Goldberg's story and, and her feelings when she first saw Nichelle. Um, I say it all the time and I will never stop saying it. Representation matters. And it, it, to i i've wanted to be an actor ever since i was six and this is something i've always wanted to do and 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 that representation be it from nichelle or a lot of people even her herb jefferson jr i remember seeing yep. her in Battlestar galactica as a kid oh, yeah. and yeah and seeing that representation so it, it does it does matter and and when you when you have the opportunity like i have many times over of being able to meet a lot of the people that I grew up watching and, and admiring and, and, you know, just, just having that, having that opportunity to say thank you and just to, and, and hopefully work with them, you know, it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing. So it, it's, this, this is great on so many levels, but on, on that level, it's, it's, it's a very personal one for me. And um, I, it's, it's great that we're doing this. It's great that this is happening. And and it's great that it's going to be, I hope it's going to be live streamed. I hope some of this is going to be live streamed because obviously a lot of people aren't going to be able to attend. So.